Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Nash and for today's video I'm basically going to take you guys along with me as I get myself back on track now that I'm back from my vacation I left myself in a pretty good spot Making sure that whatever bills were gonna come out while I was gone were taken care of and now I'm basically picking up where I left off since I Didn't do any budgeting while I was gone I just gave myself the set amount that I've saved up which was $400 to spend while I was there and I only actually ended up spending $200 while on vacation and I spent $90 when I came back. We have 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 1, 10 left over and I'm going to show you you guys what i was gonna do off camera with this money to kind of just get myself back on track i just had 45 dollars that i still have to distribute into my budget somehow so that's going to be added into this i went on vacation with my boyfriend and his family and there wasn't that many costs that i had to take care of while there beforehand we had to pay for the villa that we were going to stay at and i took care of that I knew that I was going with more than I needed, but I just felt more comfortable to have the money since I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of expenses while I was there. So I ended up using 200 That's with food, snacks, stuff I got at Walmart so we could use all over there like floaties and water stuff. Um, I bought myself clothes and a fanny pack. So I just didn't restrict myself from the stuff that I wanted while I was there. So on the way back, I realized that I still had $200. The $90 went to this. I bought myself a phone. Well, I basically opened up my own actual cell phone line with AT&T. I had a iPhone 8 Plus for two and a half years um, under a line with my sister and my phone cracked about a week or so before the trip and while on the trip halfway through my phone fell and the whole screen got shattered and while on vacation just to make things even better i had absolutely no service like from the moment that i landed to the moment that i got on the plane heading back no service like horrible connection like I wasn't able to do nothing and knowing that I had an upgrade, knowing that I wanted to get a new phone and knowing how bad the service has been and knowing that I'm at a point now where I kind of want things under my name that I can have full control over, I decided to switch to at and I used to have at and under my mom's line and then I wasn't ready to basically have my own line so I went on the line with my sister and Sprint was working very well for me but I just feel like now with like T-Mobile being in charge like owning Sprint and all that just the internet just hasn't been as good I'm not up for the service that it had that has been giving me and providing me so I went to AT&T and they had a promotion so I was able to get a $350 credit on this phone so from 700, it's now 350 that I have to pay for, and it's $12 a month added to my line. What I'm gonna do now is just save up the rest that I owe for the phone to pay it off sooner, rather, um, sooner instead of the 30 months that it's giving me paying the $12. $60 went up, went into opening. I just had to pay for the tax on the phone, and that was 40 something dollars, and then I went to Five Below and bought myself a screen protector and I'm not a big fan of this case but I needed a case so that's where the 60 went and then to close the line at Sprint I ended up using $30 because the phone was cracked so it covered the crack on the phone so in total so I'm gonna just put Sprint and we'll put 30. $30. So, in total, to get my new phone and open up my line and close my line with my sister, it was $90. And that's so much less than I was expecting. Um, 
and I'm gonna be paying less monthly after the first bill. I'm gonna be paying less monthly than I was paying while I was on Sprint. So I'm very happy with that. And I just needed to do it. Like when I wished when I checked my line at Sprint, I realized that I was still paying off the iPhone 8. And I still had like a two hundred dollar balance and why pay for something that I don't even like or want and I can just be putting the money towards a phone that I do want and need and I feel like another thing that kind of pushed me was I do a lot of work on this like especially from Etsy and all that stuff I need a working phone with good internet so I can do what I have to do so it was kind of just like all signs were leading to you need to do something you need to make a decision and i just feel good and comfortable with the decision that i made so yeah that's like the major update on that so that kind of explains the money and now there's 120 45 or 6 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 there's 55 so in my binder i have I've never showed you guys this envelope, but there's this is clear envelope and I just put one of my labels up here and I put extra income. And what I'm doing is just kind of storing money just in case I was to not get paid or I go a week that I need money. I'm basically going to use this as a way to pay myself for that week. So right now there's 130 in here and what I'm going to do is actually take the hundred and then now there's 200 that's going to be in this envelope so that i don't have to dip into my savings or anything like that since i knew i was going to be coming back and i wasn't going to be receiving as much income until etsy gets back up and running and i get my hours back at my job so i just started this um a little while back for an emergency even though i do have an emergency sinking fund i don't want to use it unless i technically have to we have 200 in here so that leaves us with 20 40 60 75 6 7 8 9 80 1 2 3 4 $85 that we're going to be working with so i have to put five of it so let me just do one, two, three, four, five into tides and that'll just cover the 50 that i received while i was on vacation so in tides we have 120 30 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 137 that i'll be able to take with me on sunday And then I'm putting 30 into rent. So we have 60. Now we have 50, 70, 80, 90 in rent. Then I'm going to do 10. That's going, oh, let me just put this to the side. Because I didn't account for this 40. I accounted for the 45. So I'm putting that 10 in my gas. I have 20. So now we have 25, 16, 17, 18, 29, 30. and then 40 i kind of have the liberty to do whatever i want with this 40 like to put it in anything i want so let me just put that to the side for a second we have 40 dollars i currently don't have anything in travel so i'm gonna put in fun I'm gonna put another five and I have 15. So now we have 20 for beauty. So we have 15. I'm gonna add five. So then 
that's another 20. And then for travel, I'm going to put 10. Just start it back up because I want to get it to 150. But there's like no rush on that because I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon unless I do like a little weekend getaway. But now we're going to be starting fresh. $10. So what do we have left? So we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We have 20. So savings currently has 15. I'm going to add 5. So we're at 20. I just want to put a little bit in all of them since I went a week without stuffing anything. If you have 17, I think I'm going to do 20. So, it's like two fives. Actually, no one. Six, seven, eight, nine, four. So, we have 20 now. So, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And B days and gifts. Color has 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. So now we have 80 in car. I'm at the halfway point because I want to get to 160. Well, 200 here, but 160 for my tires. This, this is where I'll be saving for the actual phone. I have 50 in here right now. Medical, let's see where we are at. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 192. 95, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so we should be at 100 now. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 5, 9, 6, 9, 7, 8, 9, 9. 100 in medical. I already booked two appointments, so this should definitely cover both of those. And then I have a dollar. And what I'm gonna do is just put this in my personal envelope. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it'll just stay there since why not? So those are all taken care of. I able to redistribute the travel money i'll leave links to the cash envelope actual wallet if you're interested in this um cash envelope wallet i got it from amazon and i did a whole unboxing so i'll leave that linked in the cards if you're interested but yeah that's all that i have for today and i'll see you guys in the next one bye